Whenever I saw the finished product being sold on the uh, you know newsstand with international magazines, I thought, gosh, you know, uh, a, a Ghanaian or a black man has achieved something. Because that time, I would say I was the only one doing that sort of thing through Drum Magazine, because I'd worked with Drum Magazine in Ghana before, but it was mainly in black and white, not color. And the color at the time was easy for me because I knew both the transparency as well as the negative positive. And that was what I took back to Ghana. I was the first to start working as a photographer, working on a newspaper. And I was the first to do the color as well. So that's, you know, what I leave behind. I'm very proud. This was the first time that I shot color and tried the process to prove that it could be done. And even for myself, that the negatives will produce something. But this is a sales girl in the shop, and I borrowed her, you know, asked her to come and, and we arranged this so that when developed, I could print to show that we could do it. This lorry and the sign reminds me of when we changed from driving on the left as British, you know, to the right and they did a lot of advertising to make people aware that we are changing from driving on the left to the right. And that is what this man has got as a sign, left, left, left. In South Africa, this picture was outside the, the museum, big, you know. Then I hadn't taken this picture so seriously because the, the ones that we used for the covers were all striking, but this has now become one of my iconic pictures. I'm proud of it. The next thing is to leave uh, uh, an inspiring story behind for the young ones to, to follow. <laughs>